Hi, I'm Dr. Kim Chi, and we're live at ASCO, and I'm a medical oncologist at BC Cancer, Vancouver Cancer Centre, and the Vancouver Prostate Centre, and a professor of medicine at the University of British Columbia. I was the principal investigator of the Titan trial, which was presented yesterday here at ASCO, and published online on the New England Journal of Medicine simultaneously. So the Titan study was a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial that evaluated the addition of apalutamide, a next-generation androgen receptor inhibitor, to standard androgen deprivation therapy, or ADT. 1,052 patients were enrolled, and the intent was to enroll a broad spectrum of patients, including those with high-volume disease, low-volume disease, and also those that had previously received docetaxel for castration-sensitive disease. Patients were randomized to receive apalutamide, 240 milligrams, versus placebo, uh, both combined with androgen deprivation therapy. The dual primary endpoints were radiographic progression-free survival and overall survival. The key results were in this first analysis is that radiographic progression-free survival was improved with a risk reduction of 52%. Overall survival was also improved with a risk reduction of 33%. Based on these results, the Independent Data and Monitoring Committee recommended the trial be unblinded and patients on placebo crossed over to active treatment with apalutamide. In addition, the subgroup analysis suggested that there was a consistent benefit across all subgroups, including those that had high volume disease and also those with low volume disease and those that also had received prior docetaxel. The adverse event profile was very consistent um, with what was known with the safety profile of apalutamide and really not that much different from placebo. There were rashes that were encountered, which is a known side effect with apalutamide, but these were largely low-grade and asymptomatic. Attesting to this tolerability was that quality of life did not change on apalutamide and was no different from placebo. So this provides further evidence that intensifying androgen deprivation therapy with additional therapy, such as apalutamide, can improve outcomes with good tolerability in patients with metastatic castration-sensitive prostate cancer and provide support for the use of this medication in the future. Thanks for listening, and I encourage you to um, look up the article that's been published online in the New England Journal of Medicine.